Welcome Mrs. Rashmi uh, to TVGME and also the conference on uh, standards and emerging technology. Thank you. Uh, since you are from Tomobile Research Association of India, uh, EV is involved now, everybody is talking about electric vehicles. How has been the role of ARI in acquiring the technology towards EV? Yeah, uh, I think the ch journey started about uh, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we worked very closely with the government of India in setting up the first uh, FAME scheme and uh, National Electric Mobility Mission Plan under which uh, first of all uh, the testing validation center and a center of excellence in e-mobility was set up at ARIA. Mm -hmm. uh, the purpose of uh, setting up that center was to uh, enable the automotive domain to be developed in the country. That is one aspect. Second one was to develop the standards mm -hmm. uh, which would be later on used for testing validation as well as uh, type approval of EVs. And on the third side, uh, also develop the technology for Indian market. Mm -hmm. That has been the journey for okay, us. Okay, that has been the journey so far. So in terms of uh, technology development, um, since the rest of the world is also you know, trying to develop themselves into things, so we are not very far behind in that area. Uh, are we developing some indigenous technologies or are we trying to uh, do some kind of internalization of the uh, technology available from outside? We are currently, in my opinion, uh, at the uh, fast absorption uh, curve okay. of the technology. Of course, uh, efforts are there to develop India-specific technologies, especially for smaller vehicle segments where mm -hmm. uh, internationally there are hardly any solutions available, mm -hmm. or for uh, trucks where uh, India-specific solution needs to be emerged out. Um, another India-specific requirement is also consider uh, after fitment. Hmm. of the existing fleet of vehicles. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so that's the Indian scenario. As far as technology uh, creation in the country is concerned, um, more focus is being given uh, to the component uh, uh, development as well as battery development. Yeah. Hmm. Because these are power electronics and battery are the most uh, expensive uh, you know, aspects Correct. of EVs. Right. So that's how uh, the growth has been, uh, the impetus has been given. <coughs> hmm. So charging station, I understand the standards are out, uh, you, yes. know, that, you know, that how and what it should be. Uh, currently they are using the fossil fuel based uh, electricity supply or it is also going to be a renewable energy and the charging station together? At this moment, it is a combination of fossil fuel uh, supply and uh, also the green uh, fuels, a uh, green uh, electricity. Uh, government has already announced the plan of mm -hmm. moving towards the greener uh, solutions. Um, so, I think parallelly both these efforts are being taken up. At this moment, the work is taken up to uh, standardize the uh, communication between mm -hmm. the infrastructure <coughs> and the vehicles as well as uh, standardize the connectivity and in interoperability. interoperability okay. So uh, these parallel efforts are uh, required otherwise one can't wait for the other. Absolutely, okay. absolutely, yeah. Uh, one more thing is the, the EV component, you know, how we can bring more and more and develop here. Uh, are there specific initiatives given to the industry to develop these components in India? Uh, yes, um, in fact there are new players coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, the conventional uh, mm -hmm, IC engine players, mm -hmm. uh, they themselves are entering into this uh, migration of technology. There are new players being set in, uh, new supplier chain is uh, expected okay. to be developed because you know we are uh, in India, we are talking about large scales, yes. which is a very different scale as compared to Europe correct, and correct. anywhere in the world for that yes. matter. So that supply chain development, in my view, is the key. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, this may also require a lot of change in the skilled work workforce requirement. Mm -hmm. The current set of workforce may not be the right set for the EV mm -hmm. you know, industry. 
what are the steps you know which the government is taking or ARI is taking or the industry is taking to create this skilled workforce uh, very very pertinent question and uh, uh, this uh, the work is already started at the policy level mm -hmm. uh, earlier uh, about 5 6 years ago when automotive skill development council okay. took this up as a challenge uh, as far as ARI is concerned we uh, run uh, various programs with universities on e-mobility as well as uh, as well as intelligent vehicles okay so um, while of course uh, we we do our bit by training engineers um, i think the challenge will lie at the maintenance staff mm -hmm. at the ground level where more and more penetration happens maintenance of these vehicles is going to be a big issue and oh. there is a skill gap Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, at Pan India operations, if one has to think about it in ten years down the line, that is something which needs to be done. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, the entire garage development, entire you know, the small workshops, you know, which are there, so it's a huge, humongous huge task. task, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. huge task. Uh, the cyber security is also becoming, you know, one of the issues related to EV because EV will go with the connected vehicle concept also. So these two things will move parallelly. Uh, is your institute or organization working on that side also? Yes, uh, there we are uh, very closely working with European uh, Commission's directives, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm also part of the study uh, group mm -hmm. um, in developing India-specific regulations mm -hmm. related to cyber security. Mm -hmm. uh, well, of course, uh, at this moment uh, we see several other challenges to be uh, handled. Mm -hmm. Before we migrate to full connectivity of EVs, mm -hmm. but of course that's an important subject for India. Okay, yeah. that's good, ma'am. Uh, that's what we yeah. wanted to understand, and uh, we wish that you know we have the same level of technology in India, which the world is talking about. I'm sure about it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.